G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Hot dang, what an absolute corker of a day. It's gotta be those late teens, early 20s. A Little bit of a southeasterly going on and uh, just a corking Sunday afternoon. So, gonna enjoy the mow today, man, eh? <laughs> so, what have we got on? Gotta uh, got to do a little bit of hand weeding too. I see a, a few small uh, broad leaves popping up in the deck, but mate, apart from that, gonna break out the Scotty today out on the front lawn. So. I wasn't going to, but considering the backyard's in such a state, I just gotta do it, man, you know what I mean? I just gotta lay down some stripes. So, mate, we're gonna have a crack out the front. Rightio, let's get to it, eh? Here we are, the time has cometh. <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm pretty nervous, eh? Like, uh, and excited too, like, uh, this is the whole reason I got Tiff Tough was to get the uh, cylinder mower out here. So, um, I, bet I have been flip-flopping about the cylinder mower out the front here. But uh, yeah, no, I think it's about time. Like, uh, the last couple of days I've just been like, you know, mowing it regularly with the, uh, with the rotary and making sure there's no stones either. So, uh, I, I did notice a few and I've been hand-picking them, but yeah, just excited to get the Scotty out. So what we'll do now is we'll just measure our height of cut. You guys probably can't see that there, but we're at about 20 mil. So looking to uh, maybe keep that at 15 and uh, and then put a first mow on it. So I don't know how, if we're actually gonna get anything off it if I do set it at 15. Like it's, the, the knit is so tight. I'm just wondering whether I'm just gonna glide over the top of it or not. So, hey, what can we do? We'll set our height and give it a pass and see what she looks like. Let's do it.
rightio. So that's first cut for the Scotty B in the books for the growing season. So I'm absolutely chuffed, man. Eh? It's, uh, it just looks great. So um, the front yard for me isn't terribly conducive for striping. Basically, like, you just haven't got enough room for, to let the eye open up and see the stripe. And the aspect isn't all that great as well. So, um, yeah, that's why I rarely bring the cylinder mower out the front because it's just sort of not worth the time. And it's like, as it's a 17, it's a bit big for the area too. So that's kind of why I just relegate it to the backyard. But mate, I'm super happy. The, the lawn feels nice and soft and uh, it's just a nice homogenous look across the lawn, which is so nice. So I do have uh, areas that are sort of a little bit more clumpier than others. So I'm thinking a, uh, a groom is in the books directly, but I want to get some fertilizer into it first before I do that. So got a fresh grind too on the Scotty. So that was courtesy of Luke from Back to the Grind. So old mate did an excellent job grinding both the uh, bed knife and reel on that one. So he put a nice five degree relief grind on the back edge of the reel as well. So um, mate, we got that nice contactless cut going on. And man, let me tell you, <coughs> just cutting like a dream, eh? I'm super excited for the rest of the growing season. So uh, yeah, let's get out the back and have a look, eh? <laughs> Radio, here we are out the back on the ramp and uh, it's still filling in. So I was out here midweek with the pitchfork, trying to get a little bit more easing on the, of the compaction on the wheel path there. So I do have a little bit of mechanical assistance coming next weekend. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I do want to get some fertilizer out as well, but I don't want to switch the sprinklers on because the soil profile is so saturated at the moment. There's no point adding to it. So we do have weather coming uh, midweek, so I reckon I'll put my uh, fertilizer down probably off camera then so uh, so I can get watered in naturally um, It is a little bit. It is a little bit of a nitrogen deficiency. You're not going to be able to see it with the shadow here um, It is definitely around this around this ramp section behind me here that hasn't quite filled in yet That's um that start really starting to go yellow uh, I have been trying to water it a little bit with the worm tea as well, especially in the areas that still need to fill in um, but they're just they're just not growing. We haven't really had the amount of growing degree days in November that we did last year We are down a little bit um, according to bomb. So yeah, a little bit unfortunate because I sort of trashed me yard And I was hoping for a quicker recovery, but mate, then the brakes. Radio. Let's get our uh, whippersnipper out and mow it Ah, mate, what an absolute glorious day. It was just mwah, beautiful. Got out on the Harley for a bit. Got the Scotty rolling again. Mate, summer's just around the corner and I can't wait, eh? 
So, uh, look, the lawn is definitely due for a fert. Like, I am seeing signs of um, nitrogen deficiencies. You know, the, the yellow of the leaf sort of starting to poke through and um, growth rate has slowed right down. So, definitely due for a fert. So, like I said before, I think I'll wait uh, for midweek when the rain is on the way. We were supposed to get rain this weekend, but it never eventuated. So, that's all right. Like, it can wait. Um, I'm hoping this fills in quickly, eh, because... I'm just I'm just itching to get back to mowing with the Scotty out the back here, and uh, and see it fill in down the back. Like we are making progress down there, it is coming along really well. So I'm sort of hoping, I'm hoping by the time Christmas rolls around, we've got this sorted. So yeah, all right. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked mad favour and take it easy. I'll chat you on.